Tell you later, show. If you aren't thoroughly confused yet, just keep watching. Yes, <laughs> rhythm. Oh, and while you're confused, consider supporting us on Patreon.com, where you can enjoy early and free access, bonus episodes, and lots of cool benefits. Hey, come back here with my horse. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, a melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Barbie, and you're with my BFF, Katie. I hope you're having fun. You guys are so cool. Bye-bye. Hi, and welcome back to the Tell You Later show. Thank you to all the patrons who support this show. Thank you for everybody who supports us by uh, purchasing little swag at onmerchalater.com. I'm Katie Lee. This is my special guest, Marshall Younger, back for more because we have to finish up what we started last week. Lots of stories left. Lots of, and as some of you may recall, Marshall seemed to have a problem with not having a bell, and so now we will be using a crystal type glass. And Marshall, you can pick a spoon. Oh, I'll take the this one. The spoon of your choice. Okay, All right. can, so can, I, can I test it? Test it. Maybe I think maybe loosen up. There yeah, we go. Yeah, it's all in the wrist, actually. It's in the wrist. All right. Okay, so we're going to use spoons on guard. All right. Woo, woo, Okay, <clears throat> so it's the Masterworks Festival is what we were talking about. There yes. was a Masterworks Festival in Indiana. I was asked to go out there and help teach. Tori was there too, and we laughed the entire weekend. Yeah. Tori Martin, we're talking about who Marshall met on through Adventures in Odyssey yep. and became film writing partners. We we went to concerts. We'd sit in the back and hear these very serious students playing their in classical instruments yeah. and we were texting each other and just being horrible yeah horrible horrible yeah. role he's models he's it was really so much fun <clears throat> so I, I, how did I've you hit it up how did you how did you guys get this friendship because y you're you, you you have completely different lifestyles yeah right? it well, well it's well, you know I, I mean he started writing for odyssey and my my job um because uh, I, I was i was kind of became his shepherd a little bit in the writing writing world was he a sheep no he was much, much smarter than a sheep i, <laughs> I hope he if he was his this. shepherd <clears throat> but okay. but but and i i kind of helped him through the process of, of being able to write and since he was paid, radio, radio dramas because he was paid, already a writer was he an apprentice or was he an intern no no, no he was just a freelance writer he was getting paid he and getting since you were paid. shepherding him he was more of an apprentice sheep <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> All right. That's what I thought. You, you, you get a double ding on that one. <laughs> Thank you. All right. But All no, right. no, but he was, he, you know, he was already... Do our, my bangs still he, look he was okay? Always, <laughs> I don't know. They're beautiful. I don't okay. know. I was wearing a hat before. I've decided to take it off because I think I'm having warmth. Okay, go ahead. You're having warmth? <laughs> having warmth. <laughs> yeah. And when you know when you cover your head, it makes you warmer. Did you know that? That's why people eat, sleep with hats on, to stay okay. warm and healthy. Anyhow, and it kills germs, you know, when you heat up your body, it just kills the germs that are growing inside of you. It's, it's kind of a, a health thing, in case okay. you didn't know. All right. I'm just going to let you Please. <laughs> okay, so you met Tori. You were, he was a okay. sheep. Yeah. Well, he was playing okay. a sheep. Okay, let's, 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 he was not, he was, he was not, he was not a sheep, nor was he playing a sheep. Okay, let's just oh, keep, that. Oh, that was a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> we, I, I almost you, broke you the glass on that one. Almost, glass, almost broke the glass on that one. Okay. 
All right. All right. Okay. So, so he, he had already been a writer. He was always a, he, he had already he was a, an award winning writer already. Oh. But, but it was already it was for sketches. He did he, he did like so those don't have sketches. three acts. Those are just, those are just one. Yeah, one one joke. No Usually commercial a, a sketch, breaks. A sketch is like one joke. Okay, you know, one joke. Or. <clears throat> And now you were sheeping him. Yeah, and I, but 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 he, he you know he, but he was he was young in the in the and uh, writing audio drama. Mm -hmm. So um, so I was I was helping him out and and so um, <sighs> that's a good show. <laughs> Um, so this was this was my main job is that because because he was so funny in his writing and, and like we said we, he created Wooten Bassett and who was you know an all-time hilarious character um, uh, the, but but the, the thing that he would he, he would he would he was so funny but he didn't really know when to quit a scene you know he would he would just go on I know have no idea on, what that's he would, like. He would like go on go on <laughs> Just yeah, exactly. Okay. The, the joke is, is she always tries to get the last word in. Is that a in, joke? In the studio. Oh, is we, that a joke? We, we, I'm serious. We, 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 I want we the last the word. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> the, okay, in the last session, just just this, this, this just happened a couple of days ago. She got the last word on herself. She had the last word in the scene, but she had to keep going. I thought I was getting paid by the word. <laughs> No, you are not. Oh, all right. <clears throat> well, now they tell me. Okay. Okay. So you met Tori. Yeah. Okay. So, he so, said so, he didn't know how but, to but, stop. But, but, he, but he, he didn't know how to. He, and, and so m one of my jobs was was uh, to cut his fifty-four page script down down to like thirty-five pages. Whoa. Um, and but but. So that did it become two scripts? No, no we no. didn't. Yeah, it was yeah. Um, and and so, uh, but that, that just picture that, all those words, those little words lying on the was, cutting there was, there was room good floor. Stuff, there was good stuff all that we had to cut. Jokes. But uh, but I I kind of I kind of help, helped him you know figure out structure and and, and, and that that kind of stuff, which mm -hmm. was which in a five minutes sketch you don't don't have to really worry, about. worry about. No, it, yeah. it's like oh, over. So anyways, but 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 through the through the process of of you know just working with these mm -hmm. things, we became really close friends, and um, and so and so when uh, when. When I left Focus in 2008, uh, he was kind of, you know, he was. He felt bad for me, but he was kind of excited about the possibility of working together on screenplays and stuff like that. Ah, <clears throat> because I'd have more time on it now. Was she? Which, was which, he, is, which is what we did. Was he shepping you at that point? Was he doing what to me? You know, shepherding you. Oh, in the film writing thing, or is that something oh, well, you learned together? He, he he didn't have a whole lot of experience in that either. Did you? How'd you, well, I mean, I, I I'd, I'd written screenplays before, but you know, I, I didn't really know how. Pretend to write ones. Pretend screenplays oh. that never see the light of day. They're in my attic. Right now. The <laughs> scripts are in my attic. It's probably twenty. So of them. okay, so how did you go about this? Um, so he said, okay, hey, you want to said, try to? Hey, Marshall. Well, well he, he, he's wanna... he's very he's he's the idea man. Uh, for for screenplays, he always comes up with the with the general idea. Let's let's do this, and, and which he, would be considered an outline idea. in script writing. It, what, no, he's not good at outlines. Just ideas. He's good. At, he's good at the big ideas. Big ideas. Okay, because uh, he'll he'll rely on me a lot for outlines. To, to okay, so just so you know, your big idea is not an outline. Right. Okay. Right. All right. Glad we if clarified that. that. Okay. Okay. So, um, so, so he would come up with it. He had this big idea and said, "Let's let's write this together, this comedy." And we always wrote, wrote comedies. That's all we all we ever did. And we, and, and we you know, we sh we shopped it around and stuff like that. We've probably written we've written like twelve screenplays together. That's a lot. And we, we've gotten uh, three three produced. That to of, me, of that's the, the like a pretty uh, positive ratio. It's not. It's not. 12? It's not bad. Con con yeah. Especially considering. since you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, we figured out a little bit, you know, as we went along. What, did the first one get bought? No. Okay, why? Uh, nobody wanted to put the money up for it. Did that, they that, think that, it was that, good? That, that's, that, that's, the, that's always the case. It's, I mean, did you, just, you think it was good? I think it was, yeah, I do. I think, it was, I think it's good. And I, so I, you I, wish, you I might wish, be able I wish to shop it, get, it again? I wish it would get made, yeah. Could you still? It's called Helen of Troy, Tennessee. Helen of Troy, Helen Tennessee. Helen of Troy, Tennessee. It, okay. And, and, and yeah, it's um, it's it's a modern day. It's, it's sort of. Does like, she like hide Helen in a big Troy. sheep? <laughs> <laughs> it, that's that's going to be the title of this episode. I think it's something to do with something to do sheep. with sheep. The, oh, see, if you put water and ice in your glass, it doesn't it doesn't ding. Not. That is. That's good information. That's, that's good information. Okay. What happened? What's it sound like if we hit our spoons together? 
Nothing. That, that's it. Okay. Oh, that's boring. So you've written, so the second one, did Echabot? No. Third? Um, it was, it was probably, probably six or seven scripts in before we got, before we got one. Actually okay. Made. And I'm just saying this to, to tell but, the future. But, 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 but here's, the, here's the thing, is that we use that first one that I still think is a good script. Mm -hmm. Uh, we used that first one to, to to give to producers, and then they knew that we could we knew what we were doing. They didn't want to make this one because it was too expensive, or it wasn't you know it wasn't their vision or something. But then they but then they said, oh okay, these guys are pretty good at this. Let's we've got this other project that maybe they could do, and that's what happened. Is that was oh, that? Oh, so they said we don't want to make to your us, movie, but, but could you, you make write ours? this? Yes. yes. Is that and that must be different, right? Or was it? Do you feel like you're fixing their script or? Uh, they, yeah, but uh, I mean, I mean, in in some cases, yes, it was fixing their script. We did do one that we uh, that we produced ourselves, where we where, where we actually went to investors and wow. actually, actually it would was, you it ever was one do that, we, that again? What's the fangirl up to this week? To find out, stay tuned till after the credits. It was, uh, uh, you know, I, I would. I don't know if because he was Tor, Tori was also the producer, and it was a. It was a difficult thing to do. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. know if he would do it again, but I, I love so the So what advice would you give to future screenwriters? Is, um, okay, your first screenplay, you, you may not ever sell, but it can still, you can still, you can still use it. You know, perfect your craft, perfect your craft in that one, that one or two screenplays. Um, and, and don't, you know, it's, it's not the end of the world if you don't sell that thing because it probably won't you know mm. it's just it's just the, the it's just because of the sheer volume of scripts that everybody gets the producers and stuff do you think that like because some people are like this is the my script and this is the hill i'm gonna die on yeah. and and i well if nobody wants to produce it i'll produce it do you think other people's reactions if they say we don't think we want to do this or this do you think you should go by their opinions instead of saying, you know what I'm saying, or to say, well, I'm just going to take all my credit cards and, and make this movie and find me, ask my grandma for everything she has because I know this is going to be great. Is your opinion, do you think other people's opinions are valuable and you should yeah, take them into consideration? I would, I, would get, I would get multiple people's opinions on that. I mean, if, if it's just one producer, then yeah, they might be wrong, but... How many rejections would you need before you said maybe I better write something else? Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, I don't know if it's a if it's an if it's an actual number, but I mean, you you can get you can get the sense you can get uh -huh. the sense if you, enough people that know what they're doing. You got you got to go got to take it to people who know what they're doing. How you do you get in front in of people? <clears throat> it's oftentimes. It's just, That's a good question. That is, that is a great question. You know the, the way that Tori does it. Let me, Tori, let me make that little. Tori is actually great at this because yeah. he's a fantastic networker. He goes to you know confer, conferences and what kind of conferences? In our, in, in our, NRB conferences in what's that? Is it, is it, it's uh, National Religious Broadcasters. They do. But faith, that's faith, faith, faith based. Well, that, it's it's also it's film. It's television okay. it's radio all right so it, it go to conferences that have to do with <clears throat> filmmaking yeah. network. network network and he is he's the best at it uh and 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 without without him i i never would have gotten anything made so he's the one that basically he has the ideas and he gets, then he, he knows gets the people. It, he knows and then he makes he, you do all the work he knows it <laughs> is that right that is not no that is not. i use my finger on it uh yeah, we, 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 you, you usually wouldn't. Uh, I, I will do. I'll do the outline, but we'll, we'll work on no the. No we'll work on the outline together. We, we, I'm we, just we've joking. actually we actually got. Uh, we've been in his basement. This beautiful, nice basement with a big table, and we. Mm -hmm. right, because right, right, he's scenes in out Tennessee, of, and right, you were in Tennessee. Of, yeah, for a while. Yes, that when I left Colorado, I moved to Tennessee for twelve years. Um, and we would so we would have, we would have index cards and we'd say oh, this scene this scene then we put it put it all together and then uh, and then I would is that I, how I would, you I would learn to write, write screenplays with index cards? That's that that's a that's a great way to, to do it because especially if if you're doing something is that that's the as index long card as a screenplay. Method? Yes, that is the index card method. That's okay. what that's what it's I called. don't know what it's called. Yeah. <clears throat> But um, but yeah, you put put a scene here. You want this to this to happen here. Usually, they're they're different color coded. Like you have you have a, a, a pink cards for uh, one one character's arc. You've got yellow cards for another character's arc, and and you try to make sure you're not doing too many purples in a row and that kind of stuff. 
Wow, that's really complicated. And in first we were talking about writing does that, does a that make, twenty. Does, does that make it's, your head it's, hurt? It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> you, it looks like you're getting a headache. Um, first of all, I don't do colors. Very well. It's just I don't know. You don't do colors. <laughs> well, it's what does that mean? <laughs> it's just a lot, you know. Okay. Um, I don't know because I don't understand what you just said very well. But, okay. so I'm just going to clarify that. Okay, so first of all, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of other people did. It's not your fault. I'm just trying to conceptualize A lot of people this. did understand what yes, I was saying? Yes, I okay. think a lot of people did. People but, that but, understand colors. <laughs> index cards. <laughs> well, because all index my, cards and you colors. You know why? Because all my index cards want a ring. And so uh, that's how I think of index cards, you know, flip, flip. Oh, like like recipes and things yeah, like that? Yeah, or like oh, when okay. you're knitting. So having them all spread out, you have to have a really big table. That's, that's, he's like got a, a very big table. Like a pool table or something? It's just a very big table. It's like a conference room table. Okay, so first of all, you in order to write a screenplay, you have to you have apparently a you table. need a Get big a room and a conference table. the most important thing in writing is to get a conference room table. With different colors. Yeah. But you were before you're talking about writing a radio script for half an hour with three acts. Now you're talking about a three hour, right? Or how long is the movie? An no, hour and a half. It's hour and a half, yeah. Okay, so it's like three times still yeah. this long, yeah. right? Yeah. And you've got <clears throat> all like it's like writing a a, a, a whole six parter in one movie, right? Is that would you say it's like that, like a six part radio show? Well, a, a three three part radio show. It's I, I mean no, a three part radio show would only be. A three part, oh, you don't mean a radio show with three parts. You mean a radio show that three has like three are you, scripts. Are you, are, you, are you saying you think that that? Okay, I get, that, no, I get what you're saying. Okay. I get what you're saying. See, I was thinking of the three acts. You see, there's different colors. <laughs> there's a yellow. <laughs> okay, so, so. Purple, So red, what is it? So every green. actor, every actor in a movie has to have an arc. No, not necessarily. But but uh, the, the characters that you want to have arcs, you 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 know, because there's, uh, in a, in a movie there's usually more than one story going on. They they usually kind of climax to a single you know single point. If they're really if they're good movies, they'll climax to a single point. But but usually got two or three different things different. But that one on. doesn't happen before <clears throat> the commercial break. When does that happen? Oh, oh, you've got your new uh, Tell You Later tote bag. Is cute? I love yeah, it. Did you get that at Merchelator? I sure did. Merchelator.com. It's so cute. It, look. Super tell cute. Tell Ya Later bag. And That's it's got awesome. everything in it. Do I they got... have hats? The commercial break? No, because you said when you're writing for radio, you have to have this well, big point it's, it's still, and then a commercial. Yeah, and that, big the, point. that happens at the end of Act 1 and the end, end of Act 2. In a screenplay. But no commercials. There's no commercials, yes, because oh, okay. you're, you're watching right. it in a the theater. That's true. Yeah, that's right. There's no intermission either. There's, yeah. Not like when I was a kid and we went to go see The Sound of Music. Then there was an intermission. Did oh. you ever see The Sound of Music in at a the movie? Theater? Yeah, no. as a kid? I did not. I'm a little bit older than you, I realize. But that was so exciting. We were, when I was a little kid and we went to the movies and then, you know, Oh, I don't know what happened. The Von Trapps finished a yes. song and then curtains intermission and you go to the lobby and go get your popcorn and come back for the second half. Hmm. It's really cool. I was not a big fan of The Sound of Music. I'm really? sorry. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? I, I, you know, the Nazis are coming. What do we do? <laughs> Let's sing. You know, I don't yeah, know. But it, it worked just, for them. Yeah, it was it a did. true story. See, that's why you're probably your first three movies didn't get That's right. sold it's because you have this I, attitude were, about singing. There were uh, big Sound of Music fans that read this script. What about Mary Poppins? I'm not a big fan of live musicals. You don't like singing. I, I like, you know, uh, animated musicals are fine. You do? Yeah, Why? I don't, I no don't know. I don't, I, you I just, because just it doesn't feel real that people would just start yes, singing. I think that may be it. But cartoons can do that. That's true. Okay, that makes sense. I understand. All right. You get a ding for that. Okay. But... Adam, when he was little, this is very funny, he loved the sound of music. Okay. He was like four, and he'd want to pretend, he'd say, I, Maria, you children, you children, you children. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we would play the sound of music in our house. <laughs> <laughs>
That's cute. You know, I, you know what else he used to do? I'm telling stories on you, Adam. Uh, just as this is like my commercial. Does he break. watch all of your shows? Oh, he, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he does. Well, he's in a different time zone. Anyway, it's on YouTube. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> we we used to read them, you know, Bible stories. We had this book about the Good Samaritan, right? Okay. So he used to want to play it, but he always wanted to be the bad guy. The guy that gets beat, beat. No, beat he him. wanted, to, oh, he wanted beat to beat somebody, somebody up. up. <laughs> he hide in the bush. <laughs> 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 Clobber's dad, <laughs> you know, and I'd be like the donkey or something. <laughs> so I don't know if that backfired or not. <laughs> okay, we'll play good. You can let him. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm so making me laugh. <clears throat> okay, so back to writing for film. So you, did you find it very different than writing for it? Oh, just it's, a lot it's, more com, it's completely di it's a completely different because uh, uh, obviously movies are a visual medium, and audio, and audio is drama is a non-visual not, not visual medium. Yeah, uh, so it's completely different. You 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 gotta you gotta figure out how to tell a story visually, and uh, and and you so cut, did you cut go down to so much on the dialogue. Screenwriting or yes. school for writing? I did. You did? I did. Where? I, I went, uh, my undergrad was at Baylor. I did. I was in radio, TV, film, and then my uh, in grad school, I, I was uh, script and screenwriting. Oh wow! So you kind of knew how to do that. Yeah, I had some, but like I say, best education is, is doing it. Is actually doing it. Yeah. So when you when you're writing like visually, you have to think. I think because I did talk to a guy once whose job was like being like a showrunner for shows on TV and, mm -hmm. and his job was he was actually like an accountant but he understood the cost of everything and he'd get these scripts and he'd say okay we can only have two of these in a show yeah, right. and you can't have this prop and, and locations, you can't go locations, locations, locations loca yeah. yeah locations is a big consideration and, right and a number of characters and, and uh, yeah all that stuff <clears throat> now um, what do you find was a good formula to keep it in a budget that would get it made Screenplay. Well, that that was that was the thing because that was a really good the, question. The, the I thought of wasn't it, Marshall? Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> so okay. very, very academic. Mm -hmm. um, so the movie that that Tori and I made that I said that we pr produced ourselves, mm -hmm. um, we we set it pretty much all in one house. It was all one look. I mean, it was different parts of the house, but but we didn't have to, uh, you know, we didn't have to do. A, a different day to well, do yeah, a different scene. Well, yeah, you have scene. to think of you, the logistics. Yeah, and you, then you, if, could, you could do you could do more than one. You know, if if you were in the bedroom here, kitchen here, you do, you could do all that in one day instead of you know having to having to do it in two different. And two if you go days. home for the evening, you can leave all your stuff. You can leave all in place. Yeah, yeah and it's yeah, it's it, and that, that's the only way that we could get it made is because it, we had to make what it What was cheap. the name of it? <clears throat> it's called Heaven Bound. Heaven Bound. Heaven Bound. It's a it's a it's a faith based comedy. And did it got made? It got made. It, it got made. It? it was um, it's 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 on. It, it used to be on. Don't be scared. Netflix. I have the hiccups. I wasn't scared. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. If you see me, like. <laughs> okay, I wasn't scared, but okay, I'm, a little, I'm a little now. Um, <laughs> it, it, it was. It, it's right. It, I know it's on Pure Flix. Oh, uh, really? But yeah, but I don't know what else it's on. It might be on. Amazon. I don't know. I'm so, sure. do you sell it to a distribution company that puts it on these other, like Pure Flix, or did you yes. sell it to Pure Flix? Um, I think it went somewhere else. Who first. is in charge of this? It was, well, well, Tori did a lot of that stuff, and then we had we had other people that were involved. And yeah. more, more of the business end. I had nothing to do with the business end. Well, then, how do you know what happens to your? How do you get paid? Well, we get paid through the investors at the top. We get we had investors at the at the beginning, and they gave gave their money and. And then whatever you didn't paid. spend on the movie is what you get to keep. Well, I didn't get to keep any of it. Well, you see, I don't. Make any I, money I actually, on actually, this I don't. Movie? I don't think we made a dime on it. I don't think. I don't and Pure Flix is showing it, it. Yeah. Do you, do you get like <clears throat> there, royalties? Um, yeah, or something? yeah, but it's not enough to make up the, for the cost of the movie. What about how do the investors feel about this? No, yeah, I probably probably weren't that happy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, okay. okay, okay. Did we learn anything? I'm, I am talking. I am talking. Talking out of line because I'm not exactly sure how much money. I they, see. I, I I really I really don't know. I, I don't think Tory himself made anything from it. 
Okay. <clears throat> but you wrote it and you spent a lot of he, time doing it. Yes. Yes. So and we And it's and well, people it was, can see it. And were you happy with right. the outcome? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was. It's fun. It's a fun it's a fun it's like fun. Have movie. you ever made any movies where you made money? Other than other than the the original, you know, because you, you you make some at the top, it's an advance to write the script. To write the script. Oh, okay, yeah. so that's. But good. I, I never I've never gotten any back end money. All right, that's okay, but writers yeah, no usually usually get paid to write it, right? Yes. I mean, you'd have to be like yes. a super 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 powerful person to say I want to make money after the movie's made. And you did you act in it? I was in. I I had a small part in Heavenbound. Yes, I was I was in one scene. Really? Yeah. What'd you do? In a coffee shop. I, I yelled at somebody and I barked like a dog. <laughs> really? That's, that's the truth. I didn't know you knew how to do that. What kind of dog? To enjoy the full episode, please support us at patreon.com slash tell you later. Thanks a lot. And to find out what they have actually ever used. Or we, not find out. We will tell, tell you, you later. later. Tell You Later is a Patreon-driven entertainment show. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Join us at patreon.com front slash tell you later. If you like to smell the cactus bloom, welcome to Cactus County. And loads and loads of elbow room, welcome to Cactus County. If you like your mornings fresh and clear, welcome to Cactus County. And a pleasing breeze throughout the year, welcome to Cactus County. Now if you're tired of wandering or land or sea or foam, there ain't no point in pondering, just make yourself at home. If you like a jillion stars at night, welcome to Cactus County. Or a prairie moon's romantic light, welcome to It's Wits End. Look at that. Oh, it's Mr. Whitaker. Look, it's Mr. Whitaker. Hi, I can't believe I'm here. I'm actually at Wits End and I get to order things. Okay, um, um, oh, it's so hard to decide, but I think I want the uh, bacon mac and cheese hot dog and a Wad Fam chalk side. Alrighty, sounds good. Is that all for you today? That's it. Okay. That's it for me. And your total is 1271. 1271. Can you start also, you, you should check out Katie Lee has a podcast. Oh, okay. and she let me be on it. I can't imagine. I can't even believe she let me be on it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. It's like a, it's a YouTube show and it's super fun. Oh, cool! I get to be Matthew.